My name's Josh. Um, I've been creating music since I was about 11, when I started to learn the guitar. From there, I came to DBS to do my BTEC after school. Um, I did electronic music production and then went on to do the degree and the masters. So Flow State came about while I was on the degree here at DBS. I started to get into music related programming with things like Reactor, Max for Live. I decided to create some tools for myself to use in the studio to basically in, improve my workflow and stay in that flow state, you know, in the zone. When you're trying to create music, there's certain blockers that get in the way. Um, so I saw opportunities to create tools and devices to assist in that. I took that through the end of my degree and then on the masters as well, I developed that. And I just started to develop various tools and projects um, for improving workflow, improving accessibility. And some of those work, did really well. Uh, they were featured in places like CDM, uh, various people, uh, content creators featured them. So that kind of led me to do more of that work. I then got into freelance, um, worked for a number of clients, developing uh, mini remote scripts, like control surface scripts for Ableton Live. Um, so those are scripts written in Python. That's kind of how I got into programming, music related programming and Python and that sort of thing. So the inspiration came about about seven years ago and I, when I seen a post of a friend of mine who's a, a tutor here at DBS posting about a, a, an update on Ableton Live, I think it was Wavetable had been released and a, another friend of mine, a fellow student who is blind, um, posted on there and asked about accessibility and that's kind of where I initially had the very first idea about using voice control in the studio. So I started to research that for my dissertation and then for my thesis and was then put in touch um, directly with uh, Trey who's the, the blind user and we worked together for a, a long time on voice control and that also led to another solution called Live Reader which was, it was another accessibility solution for Ableton Live to an, allow control of Ableton using keyboard commands and also the push as well so from that I received some Arts Council funding, applied for Arts Council funding to basically allow me to develop that um, much further. So through my research and development, that was the initial inspiration for it, was accessibility. But then through my research and development, I did start to notice actually there's far wider implications and far more um, uses for this. So a great example is myself, when I'm in the studio, I play the guitar it's really a blocker for me to have to stop and go back to the computer when I'm on my own um, and start you know, changing things and, and reconfiguring. It's much easier to have a, a producer there, but if you haven't got that luxury of having a producer, then obviously that's where a voice assistant is gonna come in and become really useful. Obviously with the advances in AI over the last years, everyone's seen, you know, you've got ChatGPT, all of the, the new large language models. With those advancements, it kind of makes sense to me to be able to combine the two, so combine that sort of technology into a creative environment. So not only a voice assistant, but then add in other things as well, other AI technologies. The amount of knowledge that I gained here, I, I, I say I came through BTEC, um, BA, MA, I came through the whole process. The amount of knowledge I gained and the connections that I gained, that I still speak with these people now. Yeah, that's been so valuable to me. and. You know, and also talk back wouldn't have even been possible. It wouldn't be at the stage it's at now without the help of DVS. We actually um, applied for an Innovate UK funding grant, which we got, and that basically enabled me at the end of my masters to spend a year developing talk back. Um, and it would be nowhere near the stage that it's at now. I'd be yeah, a good few years behind. Mm -hmm.